In this section, I'm going to give a quick overview of our ZPD trainer. And um, if you would like a more in-depth look at zone pressure diagnostic training, we do have a webinar um, that's available from our website called ZPD for Optimal Air Sealing and Insulation. So this is a quick um, overview of our zone pressure diagnostic trainer to teach the basics of um, of measuring zone pressure diagnostics and, and what those numbers will mean. Um, so as you can see, we've got a house um, with two zones, an attic zone and a garage zone. And there's holes uh, between each zone and those holes are adjustable and there's a leak to the outside and also attic venting, a leak from the attic um, to the outside. Um, and we've got a hose that we can click uh, to either the attic or the outside or you know we can move that um, that tube around um, we can adjust um, our, our holes and you'll notice the um, the house is blue is a dark blue the outside is white and the zones are a shade of, of between inside and outside of between blue and white depending on how well connected they are so we can click on our hole and it'll give us the leakage characteristics of those holes, uh, equivalent leakage area of the hole, um, which could be helpful if you're simulating roof vents. Um, you know, if you're using R60 roof vents, we've got 60 equivalent leakage. So this, the total leakage um, addict outside in this case is uh, 360, which would be about three roof vents and an equal amount of soffit vents. You can, you know, simulate adding and removing roof vents to see how that affects your CFM 50 and your attic numbers. Um, and you can change the um, change the hole size as you make the hole smaller. You'll notice the blower our number goes down and our pressure um, becomes more and color our pressure and color become more like the house. And then as we make that hole bigger, our, as we add roof vents, our blower order number goes up and our attic pressure becomes closer to the outside pressure. So adding roof vents um, makes the house leakier. Um, taking away roof vents makes it tighter, but as we make it tighter, the um, the attic becomes more like the house and we want our thermal boundary and our insulation boundary to line up so we want we want um, we want that attic to be more like the outside I'm going to click our default um, conditions here um, next we'll go up to the help menu and there's there's a number of features in this help menu um, I'm going to start by looking at um, choosing our pressure and leakage diagrams and what this shows is you know what are we, what are we learning from our our pressure measurement so if we take a, a pressure to the attic and our number is 25 that means when our house is at 50 that means that our attic is halfway between inside and outside so the the size of the whole house to attic is the same size as the size of the whole attic to outside so the holes are similar in size. It doesn't tell us anything about the size of those holes, just that the ratio of hole size is equal. Um, if we have a zonal attic reading of 48, that means our whole house to attic is one eighth the size of the whole attic to outside. So there's a one eighth to one ratio. And again, it doesn't tell us anything about the size of those holes, just the leakage ratio. So for example, with a reading of 48, this hole is the same size as this hole with a um, attic reading of 25. So what our goal is, is, is to get the attic more like the outside um, by sealing the bypasses, um, not by adding more roof vents. <laughs> um, so our, our pressure reading tells us something, but uh, but not all of the uh, all of what we want to find out with zone pressure diagnostics. We have to take it to the next step and do advanced zone pressure diagnostics. Um, we do have another chart here. I'm going to have to uh, rotate this view clockwise. Okay. So now this is showing the. Um, um, 
the ratios of pressures to leakage. So the easiest one to understand is 25 um, zone, if our um, uh, zone to house and zone to outside are both 25, then we've got a, a relative size of the leak ratio of one to one. And again, um, with, with 48, our zoned outside would be two, and we've got a one eighth to one, as we saw in that previous diagram. And then it shows that other pressures, what the the ratio of um, of leaks are at, at the other given pressures. And the the source of zone pressure diagnostics, this was figured out by the statistician Michael Blasnick and and Jim Fitzgerald, who uh, was an insulation contractor and is now a trainer. So those, um, those are those charts. So that, that helps you understand it. Um, and then we can take it to the next step and do advanced zone pressure diagnostics where we'll either add a hole between the house um, and the attic or we'll open a door between the garage and outside. And to do those calculations, we'll first need to record the, the blow at our flow and the pressure before we add the hole and then the blower door and the pressure after the hole is added. So in this case, I'm gonna add a hole of about 600 square inches for a, to simulate a 20 by 30 hole. We can see once we open that hatch, hatch is open, our, our attic pressure obviously is gonna get closer to our house pressure when we open that hole. So we can see our, our pressures are closer together and our colors are closer together. Um, so now we went up to 5360 and 13.3. And, um, and then when we do the open a door, we're going to uh, measure, uh, our, record our blow our reading and our pressure to the garage. And then we'll open that door with the largest pressure across it. We're five Pascals across here. We're 45 across here. So this is where we want to open the door. Um, we're going to open the door between the house and the garage and now they're both at the same pressure and we'll record the new flow reading. New blow at our flow with that door open. So let's um, let's pull up, we've got um, we've got zone pressure diagnostics charts depending on if we're adding the whole um, house to garage um, or adding the whole house to attic or attic to outside. We could either add or subtract roof fence or, or open a hatch. And then we've got charts for um, opening the door, either house to garage or garage outside, whichever is appropriate. And then we've got a training, uh, a spreadsheet where we can enter the data into it. It will do the calculation. So I'm gonna open that spreadsheet, uh, which is the last item here. And um, we've got a open a door spreadsheet and I add a hole. I'm gonna go to the, um, you open the, the door one first. So with this spreadsheet, we've entered in our pressure and our, our flow before we open the door and then our new flow um, once the door has been open. And it calculates down here what our, our um, total path leakage. So this is the amount of reduction possible if we do a perfect job of air sealing. So we could go from, from about 3,600 um, down to somewhere around uh, um, around 2,400, uh, 2,300 if we uh, do a perfect job of air sealing. So about 7.3% of our air leakage is uh, is to the garage. So um, so next we'll do. Uh, we've entered the information, um, CFM and pressure before we added the hole, CFM and pressure after we've added the hole, and we come to a maximum reduction of about 1,064. So now we could go from about 3,600 um, down to about uh, uh, 2,600. We could reduce it by about 1,000 CFM if we do a perfect job of air sealing. And another important aspect of this um, that, that's critical. If we're taking time to take these measurements, we want accurate measurements. So if we can get in this gold zone, um, we can we can have about a 10% uncertainty. Purple is 15. Uh, brown um, is 20. You know, anything 20 or beyond, uh, it, it, um, it really isn't worth 
it, it probably is not going to be worth taking the number. So we want to kind of start out in this zone. So we, we started out at 42 and we moved all the way across to 13. So we're, we're solidly in this purple zone. So, so we've got, um, we've got pretty accurate numbers to get in this gold zone. We need to start out between 20 and 40 pascals of, uh, of zone pressure to begin with. So, um, so we may need to, if we've got a lot of roof venting, we may need to seal off some of that roof venting to get that pressure higher to begin with. So we want it to be between 20 and 40 and we want to move as far across the chart. When we open that hole, we want to have that a big enough hole to have a big impact on our attic pressure, move all the way across to that gold zone if possible. So that is, um, that is our zone pressure diagnostic section. In this section, we're going to go over the zone pressure diagnostics calculation utility, ZPDCU. And this is the oldest of, of the tools that, uh, that we've covered uh, and that's been on our website the longest. And changes have been made to it over time as more has been learned about advanced zone pressure diagnostics. So we're going to go over an example um, that's similar to the one that we used in the um, with the zone pressure diagnostic simulator and gather the information and enter it into this um, software utility. So remember when we're using advanced zone pressure diagnostics, um, we're going to be recording a baseline adjusted um, house to zone zoned outside and CFM 50 of the house. We're going to open a door or add a hole either between the house and zone or the zone and the outside and return the house to 50. Then we'll record new measurements, house to zone, zoned outside and CFM 50 of the house. And then we'll use software or charts to calculate the leakage area. In, in this example, we're going to show how to gather the information required to enter it into the zone pressure diagnostic calculation utility. Um, so the first step, we'll need to run a hose to the attic. We're going to do the add a hole test or, or uh, where we'll be opening an attic hatch during the test. So on the upper right, you'll see laying on the floor there, there's a metal tube, a long metal tube that, um, and, and you can use like brake, brake line tube or, um, or some uh, small copper pipes that, um, will have a, an outside diameter of about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch. So the tube our uh, um, tubing will fit over it and, um, and you'll make a bend in that so you can close the attic hatch over it. And you'll see there's a short section of tubing um, that you'll want to run away. You'll want to throw up into the attic away from the airflow because we are going to be um, taking measurements with the attic hatch open and we'll want a tube to go in there as long as the, as well as the attic hatch closed and we don't want to pinch the hose. So, so that's kind of that process. Um, or if you're running a, a tube to the garage to measure that, um, the, the uh, process will be similar where you'll close the door on that, um, that metal tubing. Um, first we're going to record, uh, baseline numbers, both, um, house, to outside and attic to outside. And um, what the software wants us to do is set the time averaging to five seconds and record three numbers. So we'll record three numbers, both um, house to attic and, or house to outside and attic to outside. Then we'll uh, bring the house to 50 and record the attic pressures. So uh, we'll bring the house to 50, uh, record our house to or attic to um, house pressure. And then we'll switch the hoses around uh, on channel B and read our, um, we'll bring the house, uh, keep the house at 50 and record our CFM at 50. Um, then we'll, we'll remove our attic hatch and, um, record our baseline numbers again. 
Then we'll bring the house to 50 and record our new pressures with the, um, with the attic hatch open. And then we'll record our whole added CFM 50. So we'll switch our hoses around again and, um, and record our whole added CFM 50. And then we'll enter that data into the zone pressure diagnostic calculation utility. So I'll pull up an example of um, um, the calculation utility where we've, we've filled out the information already. So um, when you start a new test in that zone pressure diagnostic utility, you'll give it a test ID name. Um, the date will be pulled in automatically. The default is a depressurization test. Um, we'll create our zone by, by checking the box and then writing adding zone in there and we're our, the source of our information is our digital gauge and then we'll click next and then we'll enter our indoor and outdoor temperatures and those three baseline readings we recorded that are house with reference to outside so we'll, we'll um, record our, our th write down enter our three five second averages and then it will average that baseline and it takes the variation of these numbers <clears throat> it will take that into can, uh, into account when calculating the um the percentage error in the test so that's why they're asking you to, to enter three five second averages it gives gives an idea of the wind drift on that given day and then it will automatically carry over our average uh, baseline house to outside. So these pressures are with respect to outside. So, um, well, our baseline will be carried over from the three numbers we entered in previously, and we'll want our, our pressure gauge in the pressure flow mode, not the pressure flow at 50 mode um, for this calculation. And we'll record our, our blow it or on pressure that's on channel A and then our attic baseline pressure and our attic pressure with the blower door on. And then our CFM 50 before we added the hole and uh, which ring we had, which was open for this test. So this was the, um, um, the example that we used with our zone pressure diagnostic simulator. And we'll click next. And um, now what, what, it's, what it's telling us is that um, when we add that hatch, we're going to need a minimum pressure change of four pascals, and um, it's best to. There's suggesting where where we add the hole, and it's suggesting house to outside because we can get the biggest change in pressure by adding a whole house to outside. And then we chose our opening. We're we're uh, making an opening from the attic to the house and we're using an attic hatch and the size of our opening was 600 square inches. So we'll enter this information in and, um, and then our new baseline with, after the hole has been added, our baseline um, house to outside and our pressure house to outside and then our attic baseline attic to outside and our new attic pressure attic to outside. And then our new blower reading was uh, 5360 with an open fan. Um, so now it's given us our, our test results. And um, the main thing that we're interested in in our test results is the leakage through the zone. So this is our possible CFM reduction if we do a perfect job of air sealing. It's somewhere between 890 and 1194. Um, Remember with our uh, uh, CPD simulator, when we went through that exercise, it, it said just over a thousand um, CFM, it was like a thousand sixty four or something, uh, plus or minus 15%. So this is, is just another way uh, from that example of stating that, that our, our range is um, of, of possible leakage is somewhere between 890 and 1194.